In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to wrap a label around a cylindrical form. And today, we're going to wrap a label around this beer bottle right here. So I want to start off by opening our reference image. So I'm just going to go to image and open image as plain. So let's just make sure that's facing us and just go to the material preview. And I'm just going to move this behind. So this is just for reference. So this is the label that I'll be slapping on top of this bottle. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a cylinder. And this is what we're going to use to wrap that label around the bottle. So we'll go ahead and get rid of the caps. And I'm going to just resize the cylinder. Once I've done that, I'm just going to hop on into our shading tab here. And I'll create a new material. And I'll select our principal BSDF and hit Control T on the keyboard so that I can access the image texture node and the mapping and texture coordinates as well. So once I've gone ahead and done that, I'm just going to open this same reference image that we have right here. So you can see that we've got our image in right here, but it doesn't look all that good. And we also have to change a couple of settings to make it look right. So the first thing is I want to place this logo correctly. So I'm going to hop into the UV editing tab and I'm just going to select all these faces. And in the UV editor, I'm just going to move this down on the Y axis. And then I'll scale this up just a tad. And now I'm going to see the result. So that looks OK. Now I'm going to apply this to the bottle that we have right here. So I'm going to select our label and go into the modifier tab. And I'm going to add the shrink wrap modifier and select the bottle as our target. And I'm also going to adjust the offset to about 0 0.017. Maybe just bump that up a little bit more. And I think this should. So I'm just going to shade smooth so we get rid of that ugly tessellation. And now we can hop into the material properties and scroll all the way to the bottom. And under settings, I'm going to change the blend mode to alpha blend. And I'm going to go back to our shading tab and connect the alpha to the alpha of the principal BSDF. And that's going to go ahead and apply that transparency. So now that we have this, we need to check our texture. So I'm just going to create a check a texture. And I'm going to connect that to our base color and connect the vector to the vector of the checker texture right there. And I'll just bump the scale up to maybe 16. And you can see that the checker texture is kind of distorted. So we're going to hop back into the UV editing tab. And I'm going to scale this out in the x axis till the checkers look correct. And let's just up over here to the back and we can see that we have a little bit of an issue. So I'm going to select the faces here, which are causing an issue. And I'm just going to select this one as well. And I'm going to split by selection and scale that down like so. Scale it a little bit more, and I'm just going to place that down here. So, just checking if there are any overlaps and everything looks a okay. And so, now that that's done, I'm just going to hop back into our shading tab here and disconnect the checker texture 
and connect the color back to the base color of the principal BSDF node. And that looks perfect. So that's how you go about wrapping a label around a cylindrical form. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.